The International Temperature Scale of 1990 published by the Consultative Committee for Thermometry of the International Committee for Weights and Measures is an equipment calibration standard for making measurements on the Kelvin and Celsius temperature scales. Its 90 is an approximation of the thermodynamic temperature scale that facilitates the comparability and compatibility of temperature measurements internationally. It offers defined calibration points ranging from 0.65 K to approximately 1358 K and is subdivided into multiple temperature ranges which overlap in some instances. Its 90 is the latest of a series of international temperature scales adopted by CIPM since 1927, adopted at the 1989 General Conference on Weights and Measures. It supersedes the International Practical Temperature Scale of 1968 and the 1976 Provisional 0, 05K to 30K Temperature Scale. Circuit has also adopted a mise en pratique in 2011. The lowest temperature covered by its 90 is 0.65K. In 2000, the temperature scale was extended further to 0.9MK by the adoption of a supplemental scale known as the Provisional Low Temperature Scale of 2000. Details Circuit its 90 is designed to represent the thermodynamic temperature scale as closely as possible throughout its range. Many different thermometer designs are required to cover the entire range. These include helium vapor pressure thermometers, helium gas thermometers, standard platinum resistance thermometers and monochromatic radiation thermometers. Although the Kelvin and Celsius scales are defined using absolute zero and the triple point of water, it is impractical to use this definition at temperatures that are very different from the triple point of water. Accordingly, its 90 uses numerous defined points, all of which are based on various thermodynamic equilibrium states of 14 pure chemical elements and one compound. Most of the defined points are based on a phase transition, specifically the melting, freezing point of a pure chemical element. However, the deepest cryogenic points are based exclusively on the vapor pressure, temperature relationship of helium and its isotopes whereas the remainder of its cold points are based on triple points. Examples of other defining points are the triple point of hydrogen and the freezing point of aluminum. Thermometers calibrated per its 90 use complex mathematical formulas to interpolate between its defined points. Its 90 specifies rigorous control over variables to ensure reproducibility from lab to lab. For instance, the small effect that atmospheric pressure has upon the various melting points is compensated for. The standard even compensates for the pressure effect due to how deeply the temperature probe is immersed into the sample. Its 90 also draws a distinction between freezing and melting points. The distinction depends on where the heat is going into or out of the sample when the measurement is made. Only gallium is measured while melting, all the other metals are measured while the samples are freezing. A practical effect of its 90 is than triple points and the freezing, melting points of its 13 chemical elements are precisely known for all. Temperature measurements calibrated per its 90 since these 13 values are fixed by its definition. Only the triple point of Vienna standard mean ocean water is known with absolute precision, regardless of the calibration standard employed, because the very definitions of both the Kelvin and Celsius scales are fixed by international agreement based, in part, on this point. Limitations there are often small differences between measurements calibrated per its 90 and thermodynamic temperature. For instance, precise measurements show that the boiling point of ESMOW water under one standard atmosphere of pressure is actually 373.1339 K when adhering strictly to the two-point definition of thermodynamic temperature. When calibrated to its 90, where one must interpolate between the defining points of gallium and indium, the boiling point of ESMOW water is about 10 mK less, about 99.974 degrees Celsius. 
The virtue of its 90 is that another lab in another part of the world will measure the very same temperature with ease due to the advantages of a comprehensive international calibration standard featuring many conveniently spaced, reproducible, defining points spanning a wide range of temperatures. Although, International Temperature Scale of 1990 has the word scale in its title, this is a misnomer that can be misleading. Its 90 is not a scale, it is an equipment calibration standard. Temperatures measured with equipment calibrated per its 90 may be expressed using any temperature scale such as Celsius, Kelvin, Fahrenheit, or Rankine. For example, a temperature can be measured using equipment calibrated to the Kelvin-based its 90 standard, and that value may then be converted to, and expressed as, a value on the Fahrenheit scale. Its 90 does not address the highly specialized equipment and procedures used for measuring temperatures extremely close to absolute zero. For instance, to measure temperatures in the nano-Kelvin range, scientists using optical lattice laser equipment to adiabatically cool atoms, turn off the entrapment lasers and simply measure how far the atoms drift over time to measure their temperature. A cesium atom with a velocity of 7 mm per second is equivalent to temperature of about 700 Nk. Estimates of the differences between thermodynamic temperature and the ITS-90 were published in 2010. It had become apparent that ITS-90 deviated considerably from PLTS-2000 in the overlapping range of 0.65 K to 2 K. To address this, a new 3 He vapor pressure scale was adopted, known as PTB-2006. For higher temperatures, expected values for TT90 are below 0.1 mK for temperatures 4.2 K 8 K, up to 8 mK at temperatures close to 130 K, at 0 K by definition at the temperature of the triple point of water, but rising again to 10 mK at temperatures close to 430 K, and to 46 mK at temperatures close to 1150 K. Standard interpolating thermometers and their ranges. Defining points. The table below lists the defining fixed points of its 90. Carat the triple point of water is frequently approximated by the using the melting point of water at standard conditions for temperature and pressure. Carat A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H melting and freezing points are distinguished by whether heat is entering or leaving the sample when its temperature is measured. See melting point for more information.